Hey everybody, it's Doug from His Secret Reptiles, and uh, it's been a wild week already here. On Sunday night, I got bit by um, one of my ball pythons, a male soul sucker head desert ghost. He nailed me here. Uh, swelling went down now, finally. Uh, if you want to see pictures of it, check out my previous Instagram posts. Um, he got me really good. Um, actually, if he had got me another like half inch higher, my eyeball probably would have been sliced by his teeth. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's down here. Bottom of the mouth, right here is the top of the mouth area where he got me. Um, now I come home on Wednesday. Uh, I've been gone since Monday morning. And um, I don't know how long exactly my power was out, but our power was out for a little while. And I just got to, um, got home here at uh, 2 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. And got the generator going, got everything going, and now the power is all back on again. However, um, these eggs, hopefully, will be okay. Um, the incubator is getting back up there. It's taking a little bit to go right now. It's, uh, it's 86.7. I have it set at um, 89.1. So um, that's always what I always usually set it at, at 89, 89.1, somewhere around there. And now I'm just waiting for it to get back up the temp here. The racks, um, all that kind of stuff here. So... Um, uh, in order for these to go good, I it's right around there. Like I said, um, uh, 92 is what I have those set for. And, um, yeah, basically the big, big, big ones are, you know, these eggs. So hopefully these eggs make it. Um, it they might have been out for like a day or two. Um, you know, yeah, probably all day yesterday. It's the way it sounds, the way I talked to the power company. Um, so, anyways... Yeah, if anybody uh, knows if they've dealt with um, eggs being uh, the incubator temperature going down for more than a day, how that fared for you guys, I'm you know I'm not I'm kind of expecting the the worst, hoping for the best kind of thing. Uh, hope to God these are all fine. Uh, the clutches that haven't hatched yet: pastel calico red stripe, yellow belly het desert ghost, bred by the mystic het desert ghost. Um, we have the super pastel yellow belly possible phenomenon, 50% possible het pied, bred by the pastel mahogany het pied, and then this one here, GHI het pied, bred by the pastel mahogany het pied. So some really good clutches, some really awesome things I could possibly produce from those clutches. Now it's just fingers crossed that uh, everything turns out okay and everything's um, you know fine and hatches fine. Obviously, um, I talked to uh, Garrick DeMeyer. He said that you know maybe it'll take an extra few days. Um, just kind of got to wait and see kind of thing. So um, if you've experienced anything with uh, power, losing power uh, to your incubator for um, or your whole snake room or whatever for an extended period of time, if you please comment below, let me know how it turned out for you. Um, good, bad, or ugly, just let me know. I'm, I, I just really... Um, you know, need to see kind of what to expect, I guess. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it turns out all right. It's been one of those weeks. It's been a, a total uh, crap week, I guess. So um, thanks for watching. I'll have more content coming. I have a bunch of stuff to edit. Uh, hopefully everything goes all right, and I can show you guys these clutches when they hatch. Hopefully they'll hatch. Take care, everybody.